one of the throws into a submission on a Russian tie, it's going to end up in kind of a double wrist lock, but with a reverse grip, like an inverted grip. So he's going to start off. We'll start on this angle here. He starts off. He's got the collar tie on me. So my hand's going to come up and block. This hand's kind of free swinging. I drive my deltoid right through this V. I don't want to get, get it long like this. I want to actually try to get this in. The better, more V, the better it is. I'm going to look behind me and strip. This hand comes up through the middle. I've got this downward pressure working. As he tries to lift up, I push that hand in. I'm going to make this key lock. Oh man, I'm going to force this hand into his belly or right into his hip. When I put my knuckles in there, I'm going to pivot. I come underneath him here. That's going to roll him across. I'm going to wrestle my weight to that outside shoulder. Bring this around behind. Larry, come around behind here. Don't bother switching your grip or anything. Just wrestle here. You can take your knee and press that in and get that lock right here. Okay. Now, we were talking about this. If he tries to roll towards me, I'm just going to kind of turn and block him. If he tries to roll away from me, he'll just get himself into a hammer lock, and it'll be much worse. So that's not, not an issue for me because he'll just end up there. So either way. All right, one more time real quick. Okay. Our tie strip this is called the Russian tie. Bring him across. Let him fall. Okay. Watch that submission here. Get yourself up. Don't let your weight get on top of him. You're not gonna be able to push it in the mat. Get him up on the side. Keep your head up here on that far side shoulder. Like I said, if his arm is straight, don't worry about it. Use your leg and compress it. Okay, so that's a, a Russian tie into a throw and into a submission. Thanks.